And here we go. The Titanic is officially crashing down into the moon surface. Uh, okay. Oh, are we coming in too hot? That's a good question. And oh my goodness, they're crashing in. Alright, so we're ready to go to space uh, once again. Hopefully this time we're actually going to land on the moon and we're going to check out a moon base up there, uh, which has got me pretty excited. Also, stay tuned until the end because we might try to spawn a ship in space and we're going to see what happens. By the way, here's the creator of this fantastic looking rocket. We're ready to go into space. Hopefully we have a suit in there. Okay, so we're on the inside. Uh, we do have a little like jetpack that we can use. Uh, so that's definitely then call let's open this up here. Uh, this is a, uh, a craft and a half as far as walking around in it. All right, so I think I finally found the cockpit here. We got our space exploration suit and we got our space suit. I think this one is for just like when you're inside of the rocket and then you can switch to this one when you go outside of the rocket. We got flares. <laughs> There's a, uh, an aquarium there for some reason. All right, so we're going to get that on. Let's go ahead and turn on the TV because we're watching uh, stuff. You know, honestly, this is like a little mini base. Uh, I like this. All right, so there is a parachute on here. We got a brake. Uh, there's a key button with the launch over there. Uh, we got exterior lights on. Uh, let's see. I think we're ready to go. Okay, let's turn our solar panels. Does those actually move out? Or actually, we probably don't want those out right now. Uh, but we can deploy those once we get up into space. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the launch key here. Uh, by the way, you guys can hit the thumbs up button. That was a weird segue. Uh, do I need to throttle up? I don't think I, you know, let's go ahead and throttle up two over here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and boom. Oh my goodness. Holy man. Yeah, this is way better than the uh, starter rocket that we played with the other day. Uh, I'm hoping we can actually aim this thing towards the moon and either crash into it or safely land, or we could come back down to earth here. Uh, there are parachutes equipped to this and oh, <laughs> That's a heck of a view right there. That would kind of scare me. By the way, we have a lunar speed. We have the moon distance, so we are definitely getting closer to it. And you can see how far we're traveling away from uh, the Earth. I'm going to go ahead and test out. Do we have... Okay, there are controls on this. I, I can manipulate the rocket a little bit as far as its movement. But, I mean, it's on a uh, very nice trajectory. Uh, I don't see the moon, though. It hasn't appeared. Which, by the way, yes, there were uh, some pretty major issues uh, when this update first released. That's why there's such a big gap between our first episode and this one here today. Uh, because I wanted to let some of that get kind of fixed. And, uh, yeah, uh, thankfully the devs are working on it. And we should be getting some really, really cool creations to play with. Oh, and i got to correct this rocket up a little bit. Okay, let's turn a little bit this way. There we go. It's got to get it pointed straight up in the air. Uh, waiting for us to kind of break through. We'll see space and we'll uh, hopefully be able to point our way uh, over to the moon. Oh, I see the stars appearing. All right, it's looking good. Uh, we got to wait for it. Uh, the transition into space, I actually kind of like it. Hold on, look down. Oh, there you go. You can see the Earth is fading. Uh, still looking for the... Oh, there it is. Okay, the moon is directly in front of us. We are on a... Uh, I don't want to call it a collision course, but <laughs> we're heading right there. So yeah, I think this is supposed to be like a little uh, mobile base too. There's a lot of uh, different systems inside of here. Uh, so we might try to treat it like that and see if we can land on the moon. And then of course, I do have a purpose-built lunar base uh, that we could check out once we get up there. Uh, hopefully get up there. Hold on, let's point it back up. Okay, looking good. All right, we're kind of on the dark side of the moon right now. Uh, I might have to adjust the time a little bit because it, it's hard to see, like it's right in front of us. There we go. We fixed it. All right, so now we can actually land on the moon and be able to see where we're going here. Uh, so, yeah, I haven't successfully done this yet. Uh, me and Spy, we had issues with our rocket, and we had to teleport to the moon. So I'm hoping to actually be able to hit it here. Uh, we are still going towards the moon. Uh, the moon's distance, I mean, it's a pretty far ways away, but we are heading towards it. Uh, so we have our RSC button. I just activated it. Was I supposed to have that open the whole time? Uh, maybe it's going to make us move a little bit faster. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, we're definitely cruising. Okay, we got this. Uh, let's just go ahead and aim up a little bit. All uh, right, looking absolutely lovely here. Okay, little uh, status update. We are definitely getting closer to the moon's surface. I'm actually having to aim the rocket down a little bit now uh, to try to counter because we were climbing above it. But as you can see, the dial is going down. 
Uh, so we're doing the thing here. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Like, I'm so excited to see what the workshop uh, is going to do here with, like, space stations, uh, with, like, the moon bases, and uh, all sorts of fun stuff that we're going to get to uh, play with here. Uh, all right, aim down a little bit more. Uh, kind of just point it down. It's going to float up. We're going to try to just come straight down on it here. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to be able to uh, touch down. Uh, I don't know what the transition's like to get from space to the moon. Like, we didn't get to actually experience that. Uh, so I'm hoping we're about to see it. Oh, I hope I don't go over it here. Hold on. Let's aim a little bit this way. Okay, I've aimed my rocket back the opposite way to slow down my uh, going over. I think we were going to overshoot the moon. Uh, so this is good. I'm starting to slow it down. Definitely we're not moving as fast uh, by it. And I'm going to counter this just a little bit more. And then we're going to turn down and point straight at the crater uh, that you see here. Uh, I'm hoping this works. Okay, we've slowed it down. Time to point the nose down here. Uh, there we go. All right, we are getting really close here. Uh, so let's make sure we're on the third person camera because I want to see what this transition's like. Oh, I might need to counter a little bit. Uh, I don't want to slip off the other side of the moon here. Um, am I going to be able to land this? That is a good question. Uh, we're going to land right one of the craters here. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we countered it. We stopped moving. All right, we're going directly down on it now. All right, aim it down. Oh, oh, oh buddy. By the way, there's uh, where we came from. You can see it up there. All right, let's keep looking down. Oh, yeah, we're heading right into the crater here. And at some point, we're going to need to flip and start to thrust up to try to slow ourselves down. Um, I don't know when that point is. Uh, <laughs> the distance is definitely closing in. Oh, boy, this might be a bit of a mess here. Okay, oh, there's a transition into the map. Oh, that actually looks pretty decent. Uh, all right, so what we're going to do... Uh, let's turn the rocket and let's lower the thrust a little bit here. Uh, okay. Oh, are we coming in too hot? That's a good question. All right, let's lower the throttle down. Uh, oh, you can see at the bottom of this thing. Uh oh. Uh oh, we might have pointed ourselves back up. No, this is fine. Uh oh. Um, oh, I'm back up. All right, throw the thrust back up. <laughs> We're going to need to do a backflip here and point back down. No, we got this. This uh, rocket actually controls really well, though. Uh, thankfully, we could do this. Yeah, I might have screwed that up a little bit. Okay, is this going to be a disaster? That's pointed up. Do I have any... Okay, I can't see up the other way. Oh, we're coming in hot. Okay, throttle down. Okay, can we... On, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now reinitiate and then flip it. Flip it. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, oh, I throttle down. We might have come in a little too fast. We've crashed the rocket into the moon. Hold on. Uh, let's apply the brakes and the parachute. That, that makes sense. Oh, I have died in the rocket. Uh, can we get an F in the chat? Oh, no. I spawned down here. Wait, where's my rocket at? Uh, we're going to need to look up there. Do I have a space suit? Okay, I still have a space suit on. Um, so it wasn't the smoothest of landings, uh, but we did make it up there. I don't know where my rocket's even at. Uh, here, let's go teleport to the moon. Okay, we are here. Did my rocket explode? It's not even on the map anymore. Well, uh, that's kind of an empty feeling. Um, we got the rocket there. I didn't get to use the backpack. There was one on there. I uh, definitely probably should have tried to land that a little bit differently. Uh, <laughs> I need to learn a little bit more about landing rockets on the moon. But hey, we made it to the moon. What do you say we go check out a lunar base? All right, folks. We are checking out one of the first lunar bases that I've seen on the workshop. Oh, my goodness. See, this is something I really imagined here in Stormworks Space. Like, it would be so cool to have a base here. Uh, you can see where we came from. Uh, I don't know where the other rocket went. We completely obliterated it. It was a great rocket. Uh, just bad piloting skills. All right, let's open up the garage door here. And look, we got a rover that we could take. Uh, I think we need to seal this on. Seal the garage door. Uh, they're actually probably... Oh, no, this is its own thing. Okay. Uh, we can leave that open. I need to get inside of the base first. I'm sure there's an opening uh, on this side. So, assuming this is like an airlock. Uh, wait, what's this? Oh! Uh, so there's where your little ports are uh, for oxygen. Uh, you got electric, jet fuel, water, anything that you might need you can hook up with and resupply your base. Uh, okay, maybe we shouldn't jump here. Just walk up the stairs. All right, so hit the airlock. Uh, oh my goodness, the airlock blew us back! Okay, huh, we got this. Uh, was I supposed to hit a switch first? Uh, okay. 
Let's see. Oh, I can't even walk to it. Uh, there's a chance there's like a switch or something. Hold on. Close the airlock real quick. Um, it's a good question. I, I might need to read a little bit more about this. Okay, we got this. I'm going to hit the airlock again. Okay, so there's all the air rushing out of it. We're going to go, wee. There we go. All right, we're in it. All right, close the airlock. Okay, so depressurize airlock. I think it's uh, where we want to be. Oh, I hear something working here. Uh, let's... Do we have... Uh, actually, we have the full... No, we got the normal suit on right now. Uh, all right, can I open this door? Oh, was that... Okay, close that door. Maybe pressurize the airlock is what we want to do. Maybe depressurize to exit. You know, I probably just killed anybody that was on this base. Uh, okay. There we go. Okay, so we can open it up. All right, so we are in the base. This is cool. So we got, looks like a radio room over here. There's still stuff flowing around. I don't wonder if I clicked something wrong. Um, no, it's fine. Uh, you got a storage area in here for all your needs. You got the bathroom in here. You got the breaker room. We got a little alarm, so it's all your electronics. Oh, there's a couple little monitors so you can see out. Has anybody found any aliens yet? I don't know if that's a thing or not. That'd be kind of, uh, actually kind of cool. Uh, you got a medical bay in here. Uh, looks like your cabin areas, which are really cool. Uh, you got like an office area in here. You can work on your PC. Go and turn that on there. Oh, wait, there's a telescope on this? Hold on. Uh, let's see, system's on for the telescope. Oh, it's already aimed, like, right at the Earth. Why is there a laser on here? Like, can I can I death laser the Earth? I mean, that'd be kind of cool. I uh, got another office in here, and we got a third bedroom, which you got a heater, and you got a little television. Uh, is that showing the time? Oh, and you got that awesome-looking, like, little... Uh, a uh, skylight there. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, okay. I think we're going the wrong way on the pressure here. Okay, just open that up. Oh my goodness, we just got blown out. Oh, I just left the door open. No, it's fine. Oh, you can see the laser aiming up uh, from the telescope. Uh, what do you say we go for a little trip here uh, in the rover? By the way, what is this over here? Okay, we got electrical. What's this little silo here? Oh, it looks like a tank. Uh, okay. Yeah, this will be the first vehicle I've actually driven in space. Okay, on. You got parking brake, so we just drive forward, right? Oh, are we hooked into something? Kind of feels like we're either stuck or glitched into something or we're hooked. Or I could have brakes on. There we go. Okay, was the parking brakes inverted? There we go. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's got a little solar panel on there. You got an extra suit, which I don't know why you would be. I guess if you were in the garage... And you didn't have your suit on somehow? Because I don't think there was a door out to the garage, so... Uh, I don't think you want to take your suit off here in space. Uh, but yeah, look at us. So you can see down in the bottom, uh, there's a little icon on, under the spacesuit. I'm assuming that's the amount of oxygen we have. Uh, so yeah, we can go on like a little recon. Oh, you don't want to do that. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> are we going to float away? No, I think we're good. Oh my god. Uh, that's so cool. So, okay. Can we spawn? Oh, there goes the creation. Um, yep, it's just floating off there. So, what happens if we spawn, like, a ship out here? Like, can we make it float? Can we climb aboard? Obviously, it's not gonna, like, fire up. If it needs oxygen and all that, that's just not a thing. But, I'm just curious if it will float away into space. Also, we totally need to see if this thing's asteroid-proof. Let's do that first, real quick. Okay, so meteors are inbound. Uh, I don't know where you would take, you know, maybe take place or take uh, shelter in the storage closet here. All right, here we go. Uh, look up to the sky. Oh, there they are. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to do to this base, but it's going to look absolutely incredible here. And oh my goodness, they're crashing in to the moon's surface. Uh, wait, what? Did they somehow miss the. Never mind. They definitely didn't miss. Okay, so here we are in space. Oh my goodness, that is not the intended result that I was expecting. I spawned in a Titanic up here just to see if I can get it to float away. Um, it immediately broke in half and just crashed. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, maybe I should spawn it a little bit higher. Like, I'm gonna go max distance. Uh, what is that? Why am I hearing so much sound? Um... Something broke. Oh, I see like gas and stuff. Was that sealed? All right, let's try it again. Okay, we spawned it back up in the... Oh, did it stay up there now? I spawned it really, really high. 
Like, I, I need to figure out, like, how the the lunar, I guess, gravity works. No, it's coming down, definitely. Uh, there's a, a ton of different, like, things I want to see. Like, I would honestly love to see, like, a, uh, almost like it looks like a cruise liner, except for it has rockets and can go to space. Like, that'd be so cool if it can go from, like, the ocean. And here we go. The Titanic is officially crashing down into the moon surface. That's not something I thought I would hear today. Oh, my goodness. It just, like, yeets everything off. Uh, oh, it's going to crash into my lunar base. That is scary looking. That just happened in front of you. I mean, there's a ton of different experiments and ideas I have for episodes. Uh, comment down below what you want to see next. We'll see you guys next time in Stormworks.